Whoa, whoa, whoa. What is up, guys? I'm here. Um, to be honest with you guys, it, it's, uh, it was pretty crazy. Uh, I did not think uh, I was going to make it tonight, so that's why I made uh, my community post. Uh, but indeed, I did. Went shopping uh, with the wife and the kids. Then we wanted to go out and eat. And unfortunately, uh, due to COVID and other things, you know, the restaurants were absolutely packed and, and, and all that. So, uh, but I did stop by an academy and I found some pretty good deals. Uh, so you need to check your local academy because I'm going to show you some great stuff that was 50% off. Uh, what's up, Nathan Pierce? What's up, Billy? Uh, Drummer Troy. Uh, so we're going to get in. We got about 25 viewers already. Uh, I don't know how long we'll stream. Probably about the same as normal. We'll stream till I get tired or my wife decides to kick my ass. Uh, but uh, tomorrow night's going to be a really cool stream. So uh, you're going to go shopping with me on Tackle Warehouse. And I want to buy the stuff uh, you guys suggest. So uh, I'm going to set uh, do a little bonus feature in here. So uh, if you super chat uh, tomorrow night, when we're, I'll have Tackle Warehouse pulled up and whatnot. So tomorrow night, if you decided to super chat $5.99, I have to buy a bait that's $5.99. So uh, we're going to set a limit on that. Uh, anything over, we're not going to do any super chats over $50. Um, um, so, well, I guess if you can, you know, that's fine. So whatever you super chat tomorrow night as I'm shopping on Tackle Warehouse, I have to buy a bait at that price. So, uh, and then come Saturday when I get the order, uh, or whenever I get it, hopefully they're back on track. Um, yeah, then we'll do a crazy unboxing. I'll give everybody a shout out and I'll write the baits down. So I think it'd be really cool. We're going to try to get some stuff that, uh, is, uh, I don't have, but, uh, what's up, Bob Fish Nut, Monty Mac. Oh, I got, I got to show you guys something for Monty Mac at my local Walmart. I just found this and uh, Monty, I already let our boy Jake know. Let me see if I can find them in here. Monty Mac knows Dell, but my local Walmart, Benton, Kentucky, so you want to, might want to check your Walmarts. $4 a pack for these right here. The best scrounger bait, period. Castaic Jerky Jays. Check that price. 4 bucks a pack. And yeah, this is the good color. This is Green Shed. Also, yeah, so I got two packs. They had several left. So you want to go check your Walmarts. I did not even know Walmart carried Castaic. Look here. Blue Shad, which is kind of my favorite. Four bucks. This is the, the perfect uh, size. My boy Jake Lawrence would be proud of me. He is the Jerky J Master. Uh, but, uh, Monty, if you, if you need some packs of these, man, just... Uh, let me know. I'll go pick some up tomorrow. They had a bunch left. Um, I sent Jake a text. He may be with the kids. So, uh, but that was at Walmart. Four bucks a pack. These are normally six ninety nine to seven ninety nine. Uh, I know some stores at one time when these were really hard to get were selling these for like ten bucks a pack. So at four bucks, yeah, dude, I'm gonna load up on them things. Uh, because if I ever go fishing with uh, Mr. Jake Lawrence, this guy's seen on the channel several times, he's a scrounger ma master, so got to load up. So, Troy, they're kind of like flukes, but uh, what we do here, uh, we rig them up on a three quarter ounce scrounger head. You know, there's several great ones uh, the Hog Farmer Hog Wobbler, the Davis, uh, the Jinko Trimmer Head, uh, and we throw them out deep. Uh, but I will let you know. Is a sleeper on like a 3 8 uh, scrounger head up shell. Places where you would throw a paddle tail swim bait or a spinner bait. Dude, you can put this little jerky J uh, rigged up on a light scrounger and go to work. But four bucks a pack, man. You cannot beat that. Check your local Walmarts. There's lots of sales going on at Walmart. I've seen some Strike King stuff for like less than a dollar. Um, yeah, so. And of course, you know, if you want to buy stuff dirt cheap and turn around and sell it on face space for double the price, you can do that. So, uh, Adam uh, Mara Fishing, I did see the Black Label 1.5. Matter of fact, I made a little tackle warehouse cart up, and I've got a few in there. 15% uh, off, so hopefully, no one's just crushed everything um, so far. 
Hunter Nixon having me a few cold ones on Saturday night and turning into Bateman. Well, I've decided I'm going with the Orange Crush. So I'm rocking the uh, UT apparel tonight. And I'm going to be honest. I'm not a big fan of the Nike apparel. And I bought this show shirt under the Butch Jones era. And it's the best shirt Nike's ever put out. Uh, not real proud of Butch Jones, but we'll get it. So, the Rough River is a pretty, pretty tough place. But uh, I, I know a lot of guys that like it there. So... Yep, Tackle Warehouse running the Labor Day sale. I'm excited, 15% off almost everything. And I'll show you some little tricks to that too. But I agree, Tom. Certain Walmarts have a lot of stuff. Uh, Clay, great idea. Let's get into Academy. So I went to Academy tonight. And uh, first off, you know, I'm a Bass Mafia guy. I want you guys to know that. Uh, I'm a Bass Mafia guy, but I found this really cool Plano box. Uh, it was nine bucks, all right? And it, the reason I picked this up is back in the day, they had a box very similar to this. So what's cool is you can open this up, and you got a top area right here. So, it's, so this, this is going to be a little, I think I'm going to convert this to kind of a balsa crankbait deal. Flat sides, I got so many of them. So you got a top layer on this right here. But what's cool is you can pop this down here, and now, if you look at it, got some more extra storage room, and you got room over here. See so if you guys can see this. Um, so, really, if you wanted to make this a boss of crankbait box, you could put your extra trebles over here, split rings in the pack, lay them in here, put your crankbaits here, flip that down, and you got more storage up on top. Uh, for nine bucks, dude. Uh, pretty good deal. I'm always, I, I love my Bass Mafia stuff, but I like the idea behind this box. And I mean, for the price, now, I will tell you that latch is a little loose, but for the price, I don't think you can beat this thing. Um, now, I don't know how many more or less, but I would love to see Bass Mafia take this concept and do it in like uh, the hard plastic style. It would be amazing if you could have a real... Uh, solid proof box like this and uh, I know Bart and them love ideas so my idea would be to make a dual level 3700 uh, with that uh, coffin style plastic that's almost indestructible that would be amazing so that's nine bucks to be honest I can use a lot more mafia boxes y'all see everything I got going on here I need more so Hey, what's up, Batman? Tennessee is in the top 25. So, I hope we stomp Florida. I hope we get the chance. I love playing Florida uh, in November. It worked out really good in 2001 when Travis Stevens ran all over them. So, if Florida, I wish Florida fans were as passionate about football as Tennessee fans. It seems like if they are mediocre, their fan base doesn't care. But, all right. Uh, Calamore, send money, and my goal is to go to the boat show in January, February in Atlanta, pull the trigger on something, but I fear going to be all internet access. Thoughts? Uh, I wouldn't buy a boat at a boat show unless I'd already been in several different models. Uh, I don't know if you'll get as good a deal at a boat show as you normally would. Um, but I've never, I don't know. Got you a little Destroyer P5. That's a sweet rod, so... Good to know, Wim. Hopefully you like the box. I think I like it too. Um, I, I'm just trying to do different things. I love all my Bass Mafia stuff, and that's going to be my main uh, priority. Um, but I want to try some different things. Uh, man, those Plano 3700s are nice. Uh, the hard ones, but I don't know what I would use one for yet. So, Yes, Tennessee did cancel their scrimmage. I did look at the Academy brand terminal box. Uh, I still like my Bass Mafia one better. I, I just kind of looked at it and think I could probably fit just as much in there, and I've already got one. So I like the I like the Cal Coast Battle Box uh, really well. Um, I'm going to get me a kayak probably this fall or spring, and that's kind of going to be my kayak box because I like the little things, uh, the hook key, uh, holders and stuff that float. Um, that's really cool. And so I'll have me a terminal box for bass boat, normal fishing, then I'll have a terminal box for kayak. Um, I'm interested. I'm, I'm looking for a good deal. So if anybody knows a good deal on a Hobie or a Bonafide, 
Uh, I perf personally want a pedal drive. I, I probably wouldn't even be opposed to like a native or O Town, but I wish I could get someone like O Town Kayaks to, uh, you know, want to throw me a bone. Uh, but that's okay. Uh, maybe I can just buy Colin J's used one. So, do that. The Vexus aluminum boats are really nice. Really nice. Um, Dude, there's a Plano outlet store. That's awesome. They make really good bow cases and stuff. What's up, Rick Bartz? Big shout out to Rick. Uh, he's my JDM guy in Illinois, man. Uh, he uh, he knows a lot about JDM stuff. I'd love to get him on a podcast. Great guy. And he's the guy that first introduced me into that Waddle uh, Bats bait and uh, gave me a little special Mega Bass Vision one time. Just an excellent guy. I got tons of JDM knowledge, man. And first met Rick at iCast about five years ago. Uh, really good dude. I learned a lot. Just he he knows so much it, uh, about the JDM culture and baits and stuff. Good dude. So any chance six cents makes a movement crankbait in a fifty size would be awesome. I don't know, but that that's a good one. I would like to see. Like I said, I've always thought the flat uh, seventy five and like a fifty five X would be a really good one. I could see a movement fifty wake would be nice i like small wake baits not a lot of people make them uh lucky craft used to make rc 1.5 wake i believe it was really good so dude old town i don't know who first state fishing is chances are his channel is a lot bigger than me um but i'm also not going to uh deep throat a bunch of people just for free product it's not going to happen but i've been in old town kayaks and they are nice a little heavy but for what they do they're really really nice and they ain't paying me to say that uh and I've, I've sold several of them i really like the pedal drive in old town they, the predator is really good so um uh, what's my top five early fall baits so a top water um a lipless a spinner bait um probably some sort of swim bait or swim jig um i've already said that top waters and, and i like a soft jerk bait man a fluke's really really good it's it's hard for me to narrow selection in the fall but i like moving stuff yes uh todd i have a mega bass uh burning shed it's a really cool little wake bait uh, but it's very sensitive to water temperature in my pool um it's really nice like it gets up and wakes really quick on the lake when i fish it it dived immediately so i don't know if it's the water temperature or what I threw it on the same line 14 pound monofilament um it, it wanted to dive more i want it to wake uh, so i tried my rod in different positions as well um, but i do like I, I like how the rattle chamber is horizontal not vertical really really good so i see shock 111 thanks for the sub the other night uh, my friend what is your top three favorite top water baits uh if i wanted to get really really specific i would say uh evergreen shower blow 125 in bone uh any of the repo man vixen any of that mold tackle nick knocker and a bone or the the bone with the clear is really good and then the third um a lucky craft sammy 100 dude i've caught so many fish on sammy in the fall it's just a really really good bait aurora black is my jam i really like that uh, and but if I, i'm going to stick to walking baits but i will throw something like a g splash or rico in the fall but i'll fish it really really fast um you know the six cents stuff is really good just haven't had it as long to put in much hours i really like the catwalk slick water uh, I like the catwalk. It reminds me of a Sammy. Um, the Sammy is a really good top water, but it does not like chop on the water. The catwalk, really good in slick conditions. It starts getting choppy. Uh, I'm going to go to the dog or something that can ride up on top of the wave. So, Yeah, those are hard to find, the GDS Mini SSRs. What did I tell you earlier? Sorry about that, got interrupted uh hey big man caught that guggen squad dobbins talk you mentioned who knows when money's involved i wouldn't put anything past anyone i really don't feel like gary gary's a great businessman 
but I really don't feel like uh, Gary is going to get into the business with the Guggen Squad because I think he would know that if things didn't go the Guggen's way, all of a sudden they would put Dobbins on blast, kind of like they did with Favorite. So. I need to get that OSP wake bait there. Uh, the Big Beef is on here. Shout out to uh, Beef, Tennessee Vol, good guy. Shad crankbait, a worm and spinner is all you will ever need. That's actually for the fall. Uh, that's probably a really good beef. Uh, I think you would catch plenty on it. Any kind of shad crankbait and a spinner bait uh, will work really good. All right, good question, Kev. I have two Dobbins 733s, one with 12-pound fluoro, another 40-pound braid with later. Which option for scrounders? 12-pound fluoro, man. Now, that's what my boy Jake uses, and he has proven to me time after time that that combination slays. And that's a good choice in the rod, too, uh, Caleb. You know, that's got plenty of tip, and you'll be able to load up on that. So, All right, let's see what else I got from Academy here. Somebody said that uh, Academy... And Booyah Coverts, 50% off. And yes, you are right. Check this out. Uh, normally these things are, you can see, $7.97, 50% off. So got me a nice Indiana, Colorado chartreuse and white. Kind of a, they call this the JC Special. So this is the Jason Christie Special. Uh, Christie with the E, not with a Y. Uh, Jason Christie with a Y. I don't think he fishes anymore. I think Randy Flowers doxed him. Uh, Bateman Jr. picked this one out. Uh, I'll be honest with you. I'm going to take that skirt off and I'm going to put me on a nighttime skirt. I think that right there would slay at night. Uh, again, 50% off. Check your Academy. These are $8 spinner baits. Got on for $3.49 or something like that. Here's another one in JC Special, Double Willow. Uh, this one's three quarter ounce. I like this one. Could be a good good one to slow roll this fall. This light ring light does not like spinner baits. I can tell you that. And then uh, here's another one. Now this is a springtime special here with that little red head. I don't know how good you guys can see that red head. Single blade on there. And uh, I mean these components are good. It's got Hildebrandt components. So you know. Instead of spending, let's see, eight times four is thirty-two dollars. Uh, I spent like sixteen bucks on those. So, uh, Bateman Jr. found these, by the way. He said, "Dad, are these are these good?" And he found them in the clearance bin. So, shout out to Bate Jr. He's got my back on the spinner baits, but he uh, he didn't have a good night at the mall tonight, so I couldn't let him on the stream. Kind of got a little angry on me, so. Let's see, opinion on balsa cranks in the fall, flat side or fat? Uh, also, opinion on wake baits and one in the fall, good or bad? I love wake baits uh, in the fall, Dustin. Uh, man's minus one. Uh, is A lot of guys forget, but the man's baby minus one is an amazing uh, wake bait, especially over grass. Um, I like a flat side in the fall, but most of my water is a little bit clearer. Uh, if you're fishing a little dirtier water, go to something like the, you know, the Zoom E1, WEC uh, Rec, stuff like that. Um, or not WEC Rec, but the Black Label Rec is when I like those fatter ones. When the water's just got a little bit of color in it, uh, you want a little bit more thump, I like stuff like that. And I feel like those fat ones are really good uh, in river areas. And uh, a lot of guys in the Potomac and stuff, they like them over the tops of grass. Uh, got a whole lot different deflection than a flat side, but I like a flat side where I fish in the fall uh, If the water's got a little bit clearer um, And I, I like to fish it around brush and rock banks. I like that real tight action. So What's up PB dad? Uh, let's see Dobbins is giving Sam Sobey his own life. I have no clue who Sam Sobey is. I'm sorry That's just a guy I've never heard of but kudos to him um, I do like the Boom Boom series of Dobbins too. So, what's up, Dylan Dixon, Nate Swan? Uh, Jack and Mikey is a great wake bait. So I need to do a wake bait show. So tomorrow night when we're on Tackle Warehouse, drop me that super chat. Um, I don't want y'all to think you're paying for my baits. I just thought it'd be cool if whatever I got as a dono, I would go back and um, 
buy that for bait. Who knows? I just may go crazy. Um, the, yes, uh, Big Red Bass asked about uh, the Shizzard release. So if you don't know what the Shizzard is, uh, it's a glide bait. I got one up there. I've done a video on the Shizzard. You need to go to bigfishbullies.com and sign up for the newsletter. They're going to put the drop in the newsletter. So, uh, What are some fall lures you recommend for bass fishing? Uh, I definitely recommend a lipless crankbait. Uh, the 6 inch Quake 70, um, a rattle trap, chrome and blue. I would start at chrome or chrome and blue, uh, rattle trap, Quake 70, uh, Cordell Super Spot, Red Eye Shad. I really like a quarter ounce rattle, Red Eye Shad better than I like a trap, believe it or not. Um, green Gizzard, Blue Gizzard, Sexy Shad, and, and the Strike King. But I would start at chrome or whatnot. Uh, let's see. Um, and I like spinner baits too. Uh, I know a lot of guys seems to have forgotten about, but a, sh a white, a blue glimmer type spinner bait. I like a small pro for love of War Eagle. Uh, the spot sticker. Um, it makes it really good. The mini me uh, anglers assets makes a, some really good spinner baits too. Um, but stay on your whites and your blue or white stuff. So, or blue glimmer or some jank juice looking colors. Darius, I have not fished the brat. Uh, I've got a couple. Uh, I'd love to know your thoughts on it if you have fished it. I've thrown it in the pool. It looks really good in the pool, to be honest with you. Um, it's got a real, for a fat bait, it's got a pretty tight action. So I was kind of surprised. Usually a fat uh, bait, where there's a balsa or plastic, it's usually got a, a good tail kick. It's good wide wobble. And this one's pretty tight. And I don't know if that's the head design or what, but it's cool. Dylan Dixon, I never caught anything on lipless. Oh my gosh, somebody help you out, Dylan. One of the all-time best baits all around, lipless crankbait. Eric Tilson headed out to win a tournament tomorrow on Scum Frog. You know what? I doubt you're joking. You're a hammer, Eric, and I know you like that Scum Frog. So, Bond 21 has seen the new Spro Top Order. Kind of like that stuff. Couldn't find them on Tackle Warehouse, though. Uh, really excited about that. You know, I would say change your retrieve. Uh, if you're throwing it and just reel it in, 90% of the time on a lipless crankbait, it's about making erratic motion. Uh, I, I'll throw it, I'll burn it and stop it. Burn it, stop it. I might jerk the rod up and down and uh, especially let it fall all the way back to the bottom. A lot of times that bait will fall all the way back to the bottom and you go to reel, bam, they snatch it. So. And also, yes, fish it till your hand falls off. Because I'm telling you, in the spring month of March, there may not be a better bait in anywhere in the country than a rattle trap. Any kind of lipless. Um, Clay, I do have some black level baits, but I do not have the wreck or any of the new stuff, and I'm hoping to order that on TW tomorrow. Uh, they make a lot of colors that Tackle Warehouse doesn't care. They make an awesome chartreuse in blue, or sh chartreuse in purple, and a faded one is kind of like a jank juice, but they don't have them on TW. I do like the River to Sea Bling. That's a good spinner bait. And I, I like a Nichols Pulsator. The Pulsator's got a little thicker wire, but one thing is when you're on a good spinner bait bite, the Pulsator holds up really, really well. Uh, I have one, um, Caleb, I haven't tried it. It's big. It's chartreuse and purple. Um, I'd like to get a couple shad colors in that. I think it'd be a killer. Dude, love the Spro Fat Papa. That's a great fall crankbait. If you want to fish deep, I really like the Fat Papa deep one. So, um, How's Kentucky shaping up for the fall? Well, you know what? We got more bait fish than I've ever seen, Eric. It's crazy up here. Uh, we got tons of skipjack, which are herring. Uh, we got tons of emerald shiners. So those skipjack are feeding on those emerald shiners. And the bass are underneath them in places. And we've got a lot. We've had a good thread fin spawn and a good gizzard shed spawn. So, and there's tons of bass, Eric, that are like this big, four, six inches. I'm telling you, a year or two, it's going to be nasty. So, I do like the black label CBS one. That's really good. Uh, the red color I'm thinking of, Caleb, is actually chartreuse and purple. Um, they make a color called brim. It's totally different. But you can, 
if you'll get on eBay and look up, uh, there's Wood Bake Country. Uh, they're like a huge black label dealer. Uh, get on eBay and look up black label bosses, chartreuse, and purple. You'll see all kinds of them uh, that you don't see on Tackle Warehouse. So, Dustin, I fish a lipless in rocks and grass. Like here on Kentucky Lake, we have a lot of gravel points, uh, bars, and flats. I love throwing lipless around that. And of course, if you're on Gunnersville, Pickwick, uh, Wheeler, anywhere that's got grass, especially the Texas Lakes, Rayburn, uh, Toledo Bend, Fork, ripping that lipless out of grass, just they crush those big fish. Um, I know how you already feel about Googans, but did have to get a batch of the Yodo Worm Tickle Tail. You got to try it. This, what the Yamamoto Tickle Tail? I have no issue with Gary Yamamoto stuff. I, I, I like Yamamoto worms. Uh, oh, Gary Ong. Yes, dude. The KJ Flats are freaking dynamite. And uh, I would love to get some. I need to text my boy Kelly Jordan. He told me they're supposed to come back out in the United States. So uh, Kelly said they're, they're come come up. So, um, Dude. Big Red Bass, where you been, man? I, I've been pumping the Eater's uh, flat sides for a while, man. Uh, I love them. I've caught several fish on them. Uh, Jimmy makes an amazing bait. I actually did a stream talking about them. Um, Hello, Bass. Thought you weren't streaming. Make up your mind. You know, I wasn't going to. My wife said, I'll get you home quick so you can stream. I know you love talking to your people on Saturday night. So shout out to my wife. The cheetah woman for being awesome. I'm not gonna lie, my wife is looking good tonight. I kind of wanted to hang out with her, but she agrees. Y'all like the baits, so I give you baits. They'll work on mud bottle, man. You got gonna have to explore, Dylan, and, and uh, uh, figure this out. Um, I don't know where you live, but you can email me, and I'll try to give you some tips. So. Hunter Nixon is right. The secret is I don't even make the same retrieve every cast. And every now and then they'll get on a you'll reel it or just burn it and they eat it. But I I really vary it up and I catch so many of them on the fall. So Yes, out of state fishing license is reasonable for Kentucky. I think it's like now this is just me, I think it's reasonable. I think it's uh forty bucks, forty or fifty. But there is a fee in there that goes to help the Asian carp deal, so I'm cool with that. Thanks, uh, Just Fishing in Wyoming. Cool name. I love Wyoming. I went elk hunting there, man. That is amazing country, brother. Uh, smash the like button. I appreciate it. What's up, Braden? Gr glad to have you back in here, man. Uh, we're just talking a little bit of baits and everything. Uh, here's what else was uh, on sale. I caught owner hooks on sale one time, but then tonight... The Gamakatsu, if you've never, not used these, this is an awesome hook. This is the G Finesse Hybrid hook. This is a great uh, creature bait hook. Um, it's great for you know seven inch worms, stuff like that, or, 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 or plastics that don't have a lot of bulk. It's kind of in between uh, a round bin and EWG. These are normally $4.97. Actually, they're usually more expensive than that. They're like seven bucks usually. 50% off on those and then the tournament grade finesse heavy cover worm hook so this is a basically a finesse flipping hook and if you've never used these dude these are freaking nasty so um, I'm always playing around but I've seen times where this finesse hook just absolutely gets them uh, you can if you want to flip with fluorocarbon I suggest using this this hook right here but, dude, two bucks. Love the G Finesse series. I wish they had the G Finesse trebles 50% 50 50 off. So, didn't load up on too much more, believe it or not. I had to get these. Uh, when I do throw a Carolina rig, uh, Carolina tickers, uh, these are brass. They're a, a buck 50. I got these because if you put your tungsten weight with them, uh, the problem with glass beads is they'll break and they'll bust. So what you can do is put a glass bead in between two of these so your tungsten weight doesn't uh, bust the glass. So really like that. Carolina rig is nice, is a great bait in the fall. 
a lot of people won't throw it, but it's a great bait. So, we load it down with Jerky J's from Walmart and all that stuff. Uh, can't wait for tomorrow night on TW, so. Uh, let's see. I was literally about to head to bed. Now I'm watching the bait, man. Uh, if you had to go, Hellabass, it's all good. I'll just give the moderator ship to somebody else. No big deal. Dude, the old team dial of vibrations were nasty. Yeah, Rich, I will. I can't wait for the uh, Rapala OG Slim, dude. I, I y'all know I love the DT flat. It is one of my favorite flat sides ever. So I can't wait to see uh, the new OG Slim. I'm sorry, Kev. It's he says it's cool your wife lets you enjoy your hobby. My ex-wife gave Satan a run for his money, but now my wife is supportive and so. Dude, I'm telling you, when you got a cool wife or a girlfriend that supports you, whatever you want to do, whether you want to race motocross or talk about baits or YouTube or whatever your jam, having someone over there that supports you is nice, especially when you suck at fishing like me, because uh, she really doesn't know any better. So she thinks if I didn't have a great day, it was still okay. Me, I come in, I'm wanting to break shit. She's like, oh, it's okay. You're still a good fisherman, blah, blah, blah. Uh, I'm glad you don't wear a jersey. So back in the, so my wife used to, uh, oh, this is funny. Speaking of my wife used to, um, she cuts hair for a living, but she also was a server at a restaurant here on Kentucky Lake, several of them. And she'd work, well, all the time fishermen would come in and she'd be texting me and she'd like, Hey, this guy's here and he's wearing this Jersey. And finally one day I'm like, listen, hon, just cause they're wearing a Jersey doesn't mean they're a professional fisherman. Well, this one day. This guy come in wearing his jersey, and she, he was trying to put the smooths on my wife, and she was like, uh, "Well, what's your name?" And he told her, and she was saying he was telling her how he's getting free boats and all this stuff. And he's on all these pro staffs, and she's like, "Do you know this guy? He's saying he's getting free boats. He fishes FLW and this and this." I said, "What's his name?" She sent it to me, and uh, I said, "I don't recognize that name." I looked him up on FLW, uh, thirty-eight career tournaments fished zero checks looked him up on bass like 21 events fished zero checks so took screenshots sent it to my wife and uh she asked him uh i think she made it was kind of funny she might have made him mad she asked him well i looked up your flw and bassmaster stats but i never see how you want anything how, how do you get free boats and stuff my wife said from that point on he did not try to put the smooths on her so anyway all right, back to the comments. I wish I was big time. I'm not hella bass. You're big time, brother. You catch fish. I just collect baits. That's what it feels like lately. And spank my kids. Goodness gracious. My kids need their own YouTube channel. If you guys would see these little hellions at the mall. They're just so dadgum cute. The moderator, uh, Dylan, he just takes care of spam sometimes and crazy people. And if I say, hey, man, you need to ban this guy, um, that's what goes. And, and plus, sometimes Hella Bass has great information to pass on to the chat. So, D D2 Flat and Blue Black backs are good ones sold. Bought a few of the 13 fishing square barrels for $3. Yeah, the, all the, yeah, so here, let me, I'm going to go on a little bit of rant here. Remember, 13 Fishing got the jabber jaw coming. Dude, if they could make hard baits really well, how come their stuff that was new last year is already 50% off in Academy? I mean, let's just be honest here. If they were the bait engineers and bait designers they have claimed to be, their stuff wouldn't be in discount bins in one year. One year, their stuff is in a discount bin. That's, that's pretty bad. So, that's... Whew. Is the Vols even going to play? Yes. They canceled a scrimmage, and they won't be the only team that does that. I promise you, with the COVID-19 and other things, there'll be a lot of college football programs do the same thing. The other problem is we're just so damn good this year, AJ. We really don't need much practice. So It was not Jason Christie. Uh, uh, I know the guy's name, and I won't ever repeat it, but... Uh, I might give it to my buddy Randy one day. This guy was from Indiana. 
Watching Memphis football on TV and bait me on the computer. You know why? I ain't got no issue with uh, the Memphis Tigers. They did beat Peyton Manning in, what was that, 1996? Our only loss, uh, other than to Nebraska, was to Memphis during the regular season. So, Good story. I thought Scott Martin was married. Scott is married. It was not him. Uh, I think my mom, my wife knows me enough. If she saw Scott Martin out, she would know he's a pro. She's actually met some legit pro guys uh, when she was waitressing, and she would be like, oh, uh, Stacy King came in, or oh, by the way, well, that's one of them, Scott Martin, he came in to eat. And uh, she, she said, usually the people that, now this is crazy, she said, the guys that are like really top level pro, she said, they never tell or anything or whatnot. Um, but she said they just, they're, they're mostly nice people and good tippers. So, Brooks is an up and coming stud, uh, either on Call of Duty or on here. So, what's up, Z Bait Company? I see you in here. So, I thought it came out a little overpriced. Yeah, uh, so Bayman Jr.'s got a 13 fishing crank. Uh, it's not a whole lot different than an S crank from Mega Bass. I like their color schemes, actually, they're not too bad. Um, but for what it is, I'm going to buy a Mega Bass. So, don't knock Patch Pirates to keep Guggen's in business. Dude, Patch Pirates don't buy Guggen baits. That What's keeping the Guggen's in business is 12 to 18 year old kids, if we're going to be honest. Um, now, the YouTube Pirates, absolutely all because man I'll, I don't even want to get started on YouTube Pirates all I'm going to say is I see pro fishermen and people paying money for Instagram ads uh, to subscribe to their channel and Facebook ads I have never once paid any money for anybody to subscribe to my channel or, or put on YouTube uh, or put on Instagram and all that and if you're that hard up that you've got to pay fifty to hundred dollars a week to get two or three subscribers, then your content's not that good. That's just how I feel about it. It's that's how I feel about it, Hunter. Um, I'm not a big fan of it. After twenty years of fishing, the last month has probably been my worst. Starting to question if I know what I'm doing, dude. I've been there. We have all had bad weeks, bad months. I've had bad years. Um, you know what a good feeling is is when you've been on a bad streak like that it's just taking a break and then coming back to it and catching fish so that the other day I hadn't been in a while when I went caught them and it felt good like man I actually know what I'm doing now um, the key deal is keep fishing uh, and get back into that groove positive mental attitude I own two combos from 13 fishing and one is holding out and the other won't last another year and a half. I really don't have too much issues with their stuff. I'm, I like the Inception reel and uh, there was the other ones, the cheaper 79 and Origins. I like the Origin reels. I did not like their high end stuff. I did not, I felt it was way overpriced uh, for what they're offering. I'll definitely will try their new stuff. Um, not, not really a big fan of their rods. They are pretty brittle, so. Pole Pirates by Guggen Products. Yeah, you can find the Pole Pirates over at uh, the Deja Vu there in Nashville. What's up, Sean Z? Yeah, man, we are up to 200 and almost 40 viewers. Wow, in 35 minutes. So, uh, appreciate you guys joining in. Make sure you hit the subscribe button if you're new. If not, make sure you sh uh, share, smash the like button. So, Snagging with Steve. Caught my personal best twice in the same day after fishing for a week. Only a few, catching a few small fish. Dude, that's how fishing works, man. I, uh, My PB, I had been uh, fishing on Lake Barkley um, literally for like three hours. My buddy is catching like every fifth cast on a spinnerbait. They're not that big. And I just keep flipping and keep flipping. And he jokes, he said, dude, are you ever going to catch one? And like five minutes later, I flipped in this bush and the bush shook and I set the hook and it come out of the water and he was freaking out and uh, ended up being 9-4. He actually said, dude, is that a bass? Said, yeah. Uh oh, we got a $5 make you holla from Dustin T. 
Taylor. Appreciate it. Uh, my man, my Illinois Hammer. Uh, Dustin has been uh, racking in the dubs in Illinois. In the, he's a great river fisherman. Hopefully, we, we got to see a little bit of uh, uh, our Super Chat guy go off there. Um, we'll, we'll refresh it and see if we get a, get a little dance move or something. Let's see here. Hopefully, nothing is going over our alert box. Oh, there it is. I had it on unview. So, let's see if we can refresh his alert. It doesn't stay up long. we got to fix that. So, I'll just keep going. But it's up there. i got to figure out why it will only show for like one second. But thank you so much, Dustin, for the fight. I'll make you hurt. All right, uh, AJ, have you heard anything about the new uh, Tatua CT? Almost all my reels are dyed. Dude, I will definitely get a, a new Tatua CT. Uh, it's pretty much going to just be an upgraded version, new frame. Um, it's not going to have a bunch of crazy stuff, but really going to update it cosmetically. So, uh oh, Colin J. What's up, Cole? Looks like fall and coming early this year in Central Arkansas. Going to get them tuned. I was going to work on my pool today because it, it's green and it went over 75 degrees to later in this afternoon. So uh, I know what you need to be doing, Cole, is you need to be doing dad duties and getting the crib ready, the baby room, and all that stuff. It's going to come quick, man. I really wanted you, or Jay, you and Jay to come up here this spring and get you a, a PB for Jay over on Lake X, but you still come. I would just feel really bad if she went into labor on Lake X. That's all. Got a chance to throw a jackal buzzbait. Going to have to order one. I'd like that. The I think it's the gurgle. New concept Z is a great example of over promising and under delivering. I'm not going to say uh, the hype wasn't deserved because a lot of people got really hyped for that reel and the no bearings and all that going to bushings but it'd been done before and that's what i don't understand is 13 fishing keeps promoting stuff that's been done before and acting like it's their idea their concept and i just didn't feel the z was going to take off and it sure didn't uh, i think it was a little overpriced i think that reel if it would have come out at 149 I think he'd been a top seller, but 200 bucks was a lot for people to take on a new idea. So, Dude, I love the NRX Loomis if you can afford them, but not everybody can afford them. I, I like the low-end 13 stuff. I, I, I feel it's really not bad. Almost 300 viewers in here. Guys, y'all have got to have more things to do on Labor Day weekend. I can't believe there's 300 people in here. I thought everybody was in their boat with the Trump 2020 flag on, according to Facebook. So, Dude, absolutely, William. That's why I love pond fishing. When I just want to get out there, I go hop some pond. So, All right, bait man, another great video. Couldn't stay long. My birthday is tomorrow. Happy birthday, Braden Willard. Shout out. I hope you have a good one. And you're going to go trout fishing and kayak. Dude, enjoy the day. Dude, Firecracker is a great buzz bait. Yeah, so Cole makes a great point. What you had come out the same year as the concepts that you had the Tatula SV uh, from Daiwa. Then you had the Shimano Corrado K. And I, I, it really hurt them, to be honest. If they would have come out the year before, year after. But so many loyal Dial and Shimano guys just weren't going to give up with their fishing to go try something new. Um, Bateman will be streaming again tomorrow. I'm not going to stream very long tonight. Um, tomorrow's going to be fun. Tomorrow's going to be fun. We're going to get on TW. If I was going to trade, um, put any trebles on a 110, Caleb, I would do the G Finesse uh, Nano Hooks, and that's it, man. They're so sensitive uh, to extra or extra weight, they won't suspend right. So, 
Andrew, looking for a decent spinning rod, suggesting, well, my favorite rod, spinning rod right now I use, um, I like the Daiwa Cody Meyer, um, it's a drop shot finesse rod, I can throw uh, Nico rigs, Ned rigs, drop shot on it, you can actually, it's great for ball head swim baits because it's parabolic, it loads up really well, that rod's like 160 bucks. You can probably get on TW with a 15% off for about 130. Great rod. Uh, and then I got some of the sticks fishing rods. I really like their utility stick. It's like 99 bucks. Um, so if I'm not going to buy those two, I'm going to lean to the Dobbins Champion or Fury series. Uh, I would like something at least seven foot to seven foot three uh, to start off with. And uh, to be honest with you, Saint Croix. Uh, make some really good spinning rods. So that would be, I would start uh, Dobbins Fury or Dobbins Champion uh, sticks at 99 bucks. But man, I love that Daiwa Tatula Elite Cody Meyer rod is really good. So do you have any Yozuri Lipless? I've got a couple. And when I say a couple, I've got like two. And uh, yes. The old Ratlin vibes were nasty, nasty. Good rod. Good bait. <sighs> yes, Wim, you can use that dial rod for those shad wraps and stuff like that, man. Um, I think that's something that's very underrated is cranking with the spinning rod. There are guys that do it and are really good for those light balsa crankbaits and uh, shad wraps and stuff like that. Now, guys like Brian Latimer figured out how to throw it on bait casting gear, so... Gene, a lot of that stuff on Tackle Warehouse, if you put in your cart, they'll add to 15% to it. It's crazy. So, Deluxe 7 2 is available pre order again on the website. Yeah, dude, I don't have a six cent spinning rod. Uh, I want mine using I love the sensory. My 7 2 sensory is an amazing spinnerbait rod, and I flip and pitch with it. I need to get a heavy action. This one's a, a more almost a, a moderate fast. But it's so good for spinnerbait. St. Croix Legend spinning rods are really, really good. So, speaking of ball head swim baits, what are your favorite ball heads? Uh, I like the owner one. Um, and I like Scottsboro Tackle makes one that's really good. It's got an owner hook in it. Um, what's the name of that? It's called the Hellfire Head. The Hellfire is really good, Dustin. And other than that, you can really just be simple. And that's why I like the owner lockdown. It's just a simple ball head. Nothing crazy about it. And uh, if you want to, you can get those six cents divine heads. It's got the small two aught and three aught hook with the screw lock. That's a really good finesse um, head. What's a good spinning reel? So there's. I don't really care uh, what spinning reel you buy as long as it's Daiwa or Shimano. I hope that makes sense. As long as they're Daiwa or Shimano, those are good spinning reels. Shimano, go get you a, uh, last, the last two or three years Stratic uh, CI4 is amazing. You can find them used now for like 100 bucks, 120 bucks. They had them on sale at Bass Pro. A Daiwa Fuego for $99 is also an amazing reel. And if you don't even want to spend that much, Look up a, uh, there's a Daiwa Revros, $49.99, and dude, it feels amazing. Uh, I like the Shimano Noski as well, but if you're going on a spinning reel, Daiwa, Shimano, anything else you're going to be disappointed with. Uh, Luz is trying, they've got some decent stuff, but dude, Shimano and Daiwa are so far ahead in the spinning reel game, it's just everybody else. I've got a Tatula LT, it's lightweight. It's super smooth, drag smooth. I like it quite a bit. The frame on the LT to Tula, it's just it doesn't bend or flex. It's it's nasty. So, Sean Z uh, doing awesome. TW isn't giving you 15% off the dial rods. I was gonna get one. Earlier. All you gotta do is call them. If you'll call, pick up the phone and call Tackle Warehouse. A lot of the times they'll give you 15% off that stuff. If that doesn't bother you. Yes, the RTO lipless are discontinued. 
Never was a big fan of that one. I know some guys liked them, but Rick Barks, Kevin, did you ever get that evergreen Amazon painted? No, I'm not going to, Rick. I think it looks amazing how it is. Um, and I appreciate that bait, man. Uh, I love the evergreen Amazon, but man, they're tough to find. Uh, Revo spinning reels aren't bad. Um, there's one that Abu makes that I really like. Um, I forgot the name of it, but it, it's uh, it may, the Premier spinning reel is really good, and the Iconelli one is not bad at all. So, TW doing a sale, knowing they're going to get a lot of orders with limited staff. If I place an order, I won't get it for a month, and I'm located in California Wild. Man, I think from what I was told, uh, they're on top of it. I've ordered twice from TW in the last couple weeks. I literally get my stuff in two days. I just put the two-day shipping on there. I think what they do, if you put next day or two-day shipping on your order, they put it in priority. Is that right? I don't know, but you're paying the extra money, so they're doing it. So. Yeah, dude, I, I, I love my Fuego Reels, Big Red Bass. So, Hot mustard and plum Risto wraps were wonderful flat sides. I like hot mustard. Risto wrap was a great bait, by the way. So. Yeah, the older Stratics, you know, you can find them used. They're great reels, man. They're like bulletproof. Lou's Laser G Spin is super solid, smooth as hell, 40 bucks. I may have to try that out. Uh, I do know Lou's is really improving in the spinning reel area. And I won't mention any names, but someone that uh, is close with that company basically said, yeah, I'm not going to lie. Their spinning reels need a lot of room for improvement, but they are working on it, so I'm cool to hear that. Yes, you're correct, Sean. A lot of that stuff that those discounts don't show up when you add a cart, but when you get ready to go to checkout, a lot of times it it will show up. Uh, any hookup tackles running 15% off as well. Kind of same deal though. Uh, you just got to call them. So we got 440 people in here. Holy smokes, guys. I appreciate the love. Make sure you smash the button for me. Um, we're just kind of talking, and I don't really have a topic tonight, but uh, to let you guys know, Alex Redfish is going to join the stream next Saturday night. So we're going to talk about our favorite fall baits and way to fish, and we're going to take viewer question and answers. Um, me and Alex are. So uh, I'm going to do a little Instagram story feed, and I'm going to take questions off IG and put them on the stream so if you want to instagram shout out uh we'll do it are the i rods very good never had one james they're not bad i actually like them quite a bit they actually make some really good shallow cranking rods uh they make some good uh like all-purpose rods that they used to be called andy's junk rod was really good it was like a 744 what's up michael menon Thanks for joining in here. So, the Old Fluor Supreme XT uh, was a good spinning reel. Uh, that's the one I forgot. Fluger makes really good stuff. The Old Fluger President was a really good spinning reel. So, I feel like Lou's is your next best reel behind Shimano and Daiwa. Yeah, absolutely, man. I, I like Lou's reels. Uh, some I like the Hyper Mag. Uh, the custom pro the team custom pro um is really good the pro ti i, I like the high end lose reels they're really nice and the 99 dollar lfs probably the number one selling 100 dollar reel um in the country besides the shimano slx they're like 1a 1b is really good it's a good uh, let's see i appreciate you guys smashing the like button it's no big deal if you don't Jack Mitchell, what is up, bait man? Glad I could catch you live. It's been a while. Busy, busy. I hear you, bud. Trying to get to Nationals on TBF. Hope as well. Jack Mitchell, I hope you get to Nationals. And I hope you win some money, man. Uh, I would love to see you up there. Long time supporter on the bait man stream and channel. Great guy you are, Jack. So, so Hella Bass is going to let you guys know Omnia Fishing also has great people over at Omnia Fishing. $25 off a $100 order, so 25% off. 
Use the code LABOR25. And Hella Bass gets $20 every time you do that as well. So go over to Omnia Fishing. They got some great stuff on there. They, guys, they got dival rods and reels on there. I know they got that Tatula SV. You save 25 bucks on it. Boom. Over 100 bucks. Use the code LABOR25. Um, I need to talk to those guys at Omnia. They're, they're really nice, good people. So. Overrated, underrated glass beads on a Texas rig for noise. I'm going to say underrated. I like using a little glass bead on my Texas rig. Call me a redneck. Call me old school. But I do think it gets you a few more bites. Big red bass. What do I like for a half ounce jig rod? My favorite half ounce jig rod was a Dobbins 744 uh, Champion HP. Full handle. And that was also basically my, my big Texas rig worm rod. But... Uh, if I'm not throwing anything over a half ounce, I love that 744. You can go up to the 745 if you want a more tip, but that's that was my favorite jig rod. Uh, if I want, if I have unlimited budget, I might go with a Loomis 894 NRX. Uh, and if I'm under 200 bucks, you know, I catch them on my uh, Tatula Elite. It's a really good jig rod, and the Six Cent Sensory. If you get that 7.2 heavy, or I think it's even a 7.5 heavy, is a nasty rod, dude. I love the Sensory series. Yes, man, St. Chris. I actually think I'm going to go fishing this uh, Thursday. Check this out. My buddy, uh, I don't know if y'all seen him on the channel, Hunter the Hammer. We go fish at Lake X. Uh, he's going to fish the BFL Super Tournament, and he basically said, Hey, you want to come fishing any day this week, you can come with me. And then I thought, you know what? I might just jump, jump in the super tournament for a co angler. I think it'd be 200 bucks. Might as well. So there you go. Hella Bass has posted a link to Omnia uh, in the chat. I'm going to copy that link there, Hella Bass, and paste it, put it in my clipboard. So I'll put it in after the video or whatnot. So. Dude, 744 and 745 DX are all-time great rods. So, use a bobber stop between the glass and your knot. I broke off a jank because of glass. I have broke a few janks off because of that glass bead, and that's why I bought those brass tickers there. Uh, you can put that brass ticker in the place you would a bead. So when the tungsten hit that, it makes a loud click. So, man, we're up to 514 tonight, guys. Y'all gotta have something better to do. I told I told the wife I'll be I'll be off in about an hour. What color bead do you use on your uh, TNC rigs? Uh, red, but but Rick, I like to use clear if I can find them. I have a no one around here carries clear beads, so I'm gonna have to start going to Hobby Lobby uh, to find them. Um, the clear beads, I think the white bass peck at those red ones. They don't do that on the clear, so. Dude, 894 NRX is amazing. 854 is a really good finesse jig. Finesse tech, or I won't even say finesse. It's a really good shorter jig rod. Great for Texas rigs, too. A little bit better shallow water rod, I feel, than the 894. But Monty Mac, damn, 505 watching. I don't know what screen you're looking at, Monty. I'm looking at 530. You've been in here when we've had over 1,000. It's crazy. Uh, River Boat Rob. Great name, by the way. Is Reaction Innovation still making the Vixen? Yes. Uh, they should be arriving at Tackle Warehouse in October. That's what I was told. They're definitely making it. Bass Monkey Fishing, what's up, man? I hate buying tackle backs. I hate it too, but you know what? Got a little problem. And sometimes I can't stop with the buying of the fishing tackle. My worst problem is when I get ready to go fishing, I've got so much uh, tackle on my... Okay, what... Do I carry? What do I not carry? That's why I got this giant bread and black bass mafia bag. It's just full of stuff. I know that the Monty Max in that big ass satchel I carry carry around. It's just way too much. So, William Laws, does tungsten matter on a drop shot? Good question. I don't think it does. Um. If you're fishing shallow water, but I think out deep, it definitely makes a difference on them smallmouth lakes. Just because you can get away with a little, you can get away with a lot smaller weight and still fill the bottom. But other than that, you know, if you're, you know, drop shotting in four or six foot of water, I don't think it really matters. 
which guys do. They do drop shot in shallow water. So, who makes the ticker's top brass tackle? Makes those uh, Carolina tickers. And like I said, dollar fifty at Academy Camp. What's up, Steve Miller? Good to see you in here. So, what's better than talking baits and fishing? Not much comes to mind. I don't know. And so, I don't mean this to be crazy because I would like to get Fluke Master on here. But Fluke's got 330,000 subscribers. And so I was in his chat and I like joining. He it gives good information. But man, Fluke only had like 220 people. And I said, man, what is wrong? Why, aren't, why doesn't Fluke have 2,000 people in a live stream? Why is it when I stream, I'm gotten like 450, 500, 600 people? And I'm a nobody compared to that guy. So, you know, it's pretty crazy. Uh, but I'll, I, I'll take it how it is. You know, someone said, Text me last night. It made me feel really good. I said, man, you got it. You got it going on. You're authentic. Uh, I really enjoy watching you every Saturday night, and uh, I, I thank you guys. I appreciate that. So, whether I have 400,000 subs or I have 14,717, uh, I appreciate every one of you guys. And some guys, they I never see you pop in the chat, and that's okay. All right, uh, you need to create a tournament bag just for jumping in guys' boats. I do. That's what I need to do. I, I gotta have me a uh, a to go box. Thumb up to this community and fish brain as well. Yeah, so I had a buddy tell me he posts my videos over on the fish brain uh, thing. So that's cool. I, I think that's a really cool idea what they got going on, and obviously a great community. So. Let's see, Hunter Nexus has got a chance to try the new net bait flex worm today on a shake head. Floats really good and caught them good. Yeah, so when you try a new bait and you catch them good, it makes you feel awesome. So that's how, what I like to do. I like to buy all kinds of crazy baits, JDM baits and whatever. Big swim baits and old baits. And when you go and catch fish, it feels awesome when you try something new and it works. So that's the kind of fisherman I'm always tinkering, always playing. But if I know I'm going to get in tournament mode, I'll get really serious and quit the messing around and not changing baits and all that. But I always try to give things really good. So, uh, let's see. Michael, May, is there a conspiracy against Fluke Master? Oh, absolutely not, dude. Fluke is a great dude, man. I went fishing with him. I'll go fishing with him again. He stayed at my house. Um, cool dude. Uh, cool dude. I can hang with him fishing a Fluke, though. I can hang with him on that, so. Colin J, I haven't watched in four years. Well, I like watching Fluke, but he's... And I don't mean this bad, man. Constructive criticism. Yeah, um, if it's even that. Fluke doesn't upload enough stuff that I'm really interested in. I don't mean that bad. I like his doing the vlogs. and I like it when he, he does some stuff that's more not novice. And I get that. Fluke's more of a teacher. Uh, and I would love to do stuff, and I'm glad he does it so I don't have to. But uh, I, I like his kayaks and stuff, so that's stuff I'll be watching when I get me a yak. Cole, you need to send me that Old Town uh, info. I'm just going to be like, yo, I really want this boat because I watch Cole and Jay, and they're awesome, and uh, I got a tiny YouTube channel. need some help. Thanks. Dude, he did slay them giant bluegill, dude. That's a fact, so... Uh, bait man, we got to get you on the water and kayak and throw some baits. You got good info. Yeah, dude. I, I'm, I'll throw them in a kayak, bass boat. Don't really care. I really need to do a bank fishing video. but it's, it's See, they draw our lake down. It's really tough when they draw it down, but we'll try. Dude, love the bump, big deep diver fat A's, man. They're nasty. All right, uh, Boss Hog did that with the BX Brat in spring. First time throwing it and kill him. Dude, is that not the best feeling, though? First time when you throw a bait and you snatch a jank, it's like right there. It's like the Sammy Sosa. When Sammy hit the, hits a walk-off home run, he's, it's exactly what I feel like when you pull a bait out of a package and you catch a jank in like the first 10 minutes. Uh, when you fishing Baxter, I don't know. I'm going to try to fish this Thursday. Uh, if I don't have to work overtime, it's going to be great. If I do have to work overtime after fish, I'm just going to be really tired. Um, I would love to come fish at your house, Cole. You just tell me when. i got to take some vacation time. So, All 
I don't know. Jay might not want me. Jay may not want me using hers, so we probably will have to go tandem. Probably won't. We won't film that, but um, let's see. William Lawrence, is the flat eight discontinued? Or did they change it? No. Matter of fact, Academy has bomber flat A's on sale for three dollars. Swear I should have bought them. Uh, even if I was just going to get them painted up. But as far as I know, I don't think they're changed. Maybe the plastic's different. Um, but they're on sale to Academy for 3 bucks. I don't... Chartreuse and Black, a red crawdad. I know that's not the famous Bill Dance colors I like. But dude, you can go bomb for 3 bucks and send them to TK Stanley and he'll match anything you want. Yes, I think uh, the TVA... Uh, chain uh gunnersville kentucky lake i'm saying kentucky lake's great but they're catching them um but i know some guys that are catching them on the, on the tennessee river chain especially like pickwick and wheeler or, or wilson lake excuse me wilson that's a tva lake too uh and i saw some guy cody i saw some guy uh they caught him really good on watts bar believe it or not so yeah man so that's I tell you what, bait. We've caught them on here when the in the spring when guys are catching them on a trap uh, is a lure gentian speed trap. That bait, ooh, that's a really really good one. So, dude, six hundred seventeen viewers up in this thing. What is going on? YouTube must be putting my juice up there. It, that just goes to prove my theory. Uh, Troy Roach, you ever consider a contest for someone to come fish with you? Bet six cents with sponsor. Yes, gonna happen. I gotta talk to my buddy that owns Lake X. Uh, we're gonna try to give away a trip to Lake X. Uh, I'll get you a place to stay and all that. If you had to fly in, we'll work on that. But that's that's my ultimate goal for 2020. Uh, I'm gonna do a come fish with me uh, trip. Uh, load you down with six cents, all stuff, and try to get your PB. Uh, that's the deal. So that's just in the works. I got I got some stuff that's got to go through for make that happen. So, dude, six hundred people in here. We need at least two to three hundred thumbs up smashes, smashes. So speed trap is nasty. It's good. So Drew asked, "What do I think of a Zuma?" Uh, I like Profound. I love the Z Boss. I actually like uh, they got a Profound popper that's really good on uh, top water bait, and I like the Zuma traps. Man, it's really really underrated. The Knocker Z is really good. I think they may even call it a Knock Knock or something, but I think it's a Knocker Z. It's really good. Old Toad up in here, say Guggen a few more times and you'll hit a thousand. I know. Uh, I don't know if I need that kind of recklessness on the channel tonight. Because I'm trying to save my wad for tomorrow night. I think I think we're going to get a thousand viewers tomorrow night. There's so much going on in chat, I can't even keep up, so... I'm sure the fishing pressure around the country is the reason why most lakes are fishing like crap. Yes and no, because here's the deal. Here's what's happening in the south right now, Michael, is deer season is in, so all the old reds are getting off the lake. Um, some guys are going to sit in the deer stand in the evenings or the mornings instead of going to the lake. But, you know, the great thing about fall here is you can go deer hunting in the morning, get out of the woods, uh, then you go bass fishing until about 3 o'clock, and you go back in the woods. You can do it all. We need a six cents only turn, kind of like the Berkeley Big Bass. Ooh, that's a good idea. I'd love to see that. Lake Raver in February. Whoo! Hunter X, the biggest bass I've caught on six cents lure was earlier pre spawn this year. Texas Rig Stroker Crawl. Dude, I love the Stroker Crawl, man. It's just such a good bait, so... All right, 420 Bass Man. Hey, man, what are your thoughts on the 13 fishing hard and soft plastic baits? Um, I'm not a big fan of their hard baits, uh, just being honest with you. Uh, Baitman Jr.'s got one of the crank baits. It's not bad. Uh, I, the one stuff that came out last year, um, not bad. I, their lipless isn't bad, but 
man, some of the stuff they're putting out, like that half buzz bait, half spook thing, I'm not, I don't know, trying too hard. Uh, I'm not a big fan of their plastics. I like the shaky worm a little bit, but again, trying too hard to reinvent the wheel, I think. And, you know, when I start seeing that stuff in discount bins and retailers, I'm not the only one, but I'm not a big fan of their frog. I, mm, that's just my opinion. I know some guys really like it. So take that for a grain of salt. Uh, my opinion isn't the only one out there. But I don't fish their stuff very often. So Can't wait to try the silent trap. Having a, silent traps are good baits. Especially the silent red-eye shad. Dude, that Axis is a totally different bait than a Lucky Craft 1.5 silent. So I'm going to be, you know... It's worth at least trying one, but it, it's not a square bill and it's not a chatterbait. It's, it's totally different. Um, so, all right, thirteen fishing lure names and code names are super cheesy in some of their social media. Yeah, that's and I'll be honest, and I've told you guys that really turned me off when they basically called six cents out and basically say do your research and all that. Well, I'm going to tell you, six cents did their research and they knew that a guy had an idea to do that bait in 1992 and his patent expired that he never used i mean um just just really silly stuff like that man and then when i heard one of their social media guys said well they've been in development for like three years uh well if it'd been in development for three years why did the guy say last year we had this idea to make this uh kind of told on himself like yeah last year when six cents put their video out we just had to do the same thing but anyway that's, I'm not going to mention that anymore because, you know, my buddy Fluke is tied in with 13. I don't want him to think um, I'm being negative because he's a good guy. Let's see. Caleb, how are you going to... Dude, we got 670 people in here and my brain won't even work at the moment. Fall means football season in Knoxville and the lake's a disaster. Absolutely, and our football team is like a disaster covoid. I'm a, I hope I can... Well, I'm not going to say I'm going to get up to a game, but I'll tell you what I am going to do, uh, Cody, is I will be coming to the East Tennessee Fishing Show and Expo this year. Uh, and I want to try to do a lot of expos. Uh, I already talked to my boy, Mike Vuka. I know I'm going to go to uh, East Tennessee Show, may go to the Indianapolis Show, uh, and I'm going to go, to, there's a show in uh, Illinois, up near Granite City, uh, that I'd love to go to, and uh, we'll see, because I like filming that kind of stuff. Everyone always seems to like it when I go to the expos and tackle shows and, and stuff like that. But, uh, alright guys, we've been on here an hour and 13 minutes. Uh, here's what I want you to do. Uh, smash the like button. Go ahead. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Nick Barrett is hooked and subscribed, Nick. Thank you so much. Reel you in right there. Thank you for the sub, bud. So I'm going to be short tonight. We're going to stream tomorrow night. Uh, I'm going to do it a little earlier. We're going to start about uh, probably about 8 o'clock tomorrow night. We got another subscriber, Davis Rogers. Oh, yeah, baby. Smashing that sub button. We're going to get to 15,000. Um, so I'm going to stream tomorrow night, uh, about eight o'clock. We're going to low tackle warehouse up into this thing and we're going to order some baits. So here's what I want you to do. There's 678 people. I want to see at least 150, 200 comments after this video loads up. Um, you tell me what you want to see bait. You want to see me get from tackle warehouse, new bait, old bait. And if I don't have it, I'll let you know. Let's do that. So name your Name what you want to buy from Tackle Warehouse. So we got 681 people. I hate getting off when we got this so much, but I gotta go. I gotta go take care of the kids and the wife. It's been two nights in a row, so I appreciate it. I'm gonna jump off here, guys. You guys have a great evening. Short stream tonight, and thank you so much for all the love uh, on YouTube uh, the last couple nights. So I'm gonna start it earlier tomorrow. Uh, just be sure to set your bell to get all notifications. So, Tim Leston, thank you so much for hitting that sub for me. I appreciate it, brother. You guys have a great night. 